One of Fayetteville's oldest high schools is about to be on the move. E.E. E. Smith High is currently located here on Seabrook Avenue. It's a campus that school officials say they have outgrown. They are now looking to put a new school on a new piece of land, almost twice the, twice the size here on Honeycut Road. WRAL's Eric Miller breaks down the costs. Parents and school leaders have talked about wanting to build a new E.E. E. Smith High School for years, but as this project moves forward, the cost keeps going up, an increasingly golden price tag for the Golden Bulls. For students, it comes as no surprise. It's a pretty good school, but it do need a lot of upgrades, though. It's time for a change at E.E. E. Smith High School. I think, I think it should be done. Getting it done has been slow going. School leaders and community members have long pointed out the student needs have outgrown the current campus. They need to be able to, to spread out a little bit more. Associate Superintendent Kevin Coleman says things are still in the early stages, but the district has begun to identify a possible new home. Land owned by Fort Bragg, which would give the school about 90 acres of space. We would be able to lease that land from Fort Bragg and build a school on that. It'll be outside of the gates. That move isn't coming cheap. The cost of the new school has increased from an estimated $90 million last year to over $100 million now. When you go to the store, everything is much higher. Same thing in the building industry. Coleman says they're keeping a close eye on other school projects around the state, and the current price tag for a new E.E. E. Smith is in line with what other districts are paying. The cost just continues to go up. Coleman says the district still has to secure funding, hire an architect, and begin construction. So while the project is moving forward, it'll be at least two years before students see the changes. I mean, it's worth it. In Fayetteville, Eric Miller, WRAL.